So we're talking about map sets and more. I think people are, I put it, I see objects used incorrectly all the time. Here's a, a thing that I see a lot. I'm also realizing this might not. Const users equals Theo. Say that I have ID seven status online. Maple ID two hundred status AFK. This is a pretty common pattern. Now, users is an object that's type is Theo colon ID status, Maple colon ID comma status. So if I go to a uh, create T3 app, cool. There's TypeScript files in here. Stream.ts, cool. So I'm gonna grab this line of code. And here's our users object. Let's add another user to it. User mark equals ID 100 status offline. That's users. Oh, we're getting a type error here. Element implicitly has any. OK, let's give this type then. Key string was here any for now so i can bind this but i put the wrong type here and now this id is a string when all the rest are numbers so i probably should detail that here id number status string could do different statuses now i get the type error correctly here and now this mostly works and if i like const user equals users Theo. This should now correctly be user with the ta that type or undefined. If I get rid of this type and comment out this line, it knows that this is here because the type of users is Theo has these properties and Maple has these properties because objects aren't for arbitrary key value mappings. They are for objects, arbitrary shapes with arbitrary nesting with ideally strong typings. An object should have a type that describes all of the keys. If you want to arbitrarily destroy and create keys, objects are not the pattern for that. Ideally, an object's shape should be determined when it's instantiated and not modified during runtime. That hurts performance significantly. Maps are, or objects are not built for that. It feels like a lot of people treat objects in JavaScript like dictionaries in Python, which is not what objects are. That's why we have maps now. So I'm gonna rename this from users to users object. We're gonna redo this as a map, const, users map equals new map string this needs a type id number status string and from here you can pass this an array of tuples oh look at that Ta -da. that was a good vs code example actually and users map can have new users added by users map dot set. Look at that. Good job. Copilot. Whereas with this example, I'd have to re add that type back and am arbitrarily like calling equals to add things to this object. It isn't what objects are built to do to arbitrarily set and remove values like that. Maps have a much better optimized dot set and dot get. So user or const user equals users map dot get Theo. If you want to iterate on all of them, you still can. Uh, 
all users map dot map user log user that should be of type string comma id status so user zero is the name user one is their info because you can convert an iterable into an array pretty trivially maps are a really underutilized pattern and they're great one more cool underutilized object type is sets let's say you have an array of users in call or users or user ids in chat and we have 1 7 17 17 we have 17 in here twice let's say that the join event came in too early or something like that so we want to always make sure this is deduped we want to quickly check if an, a value exists in user IDs because we want to check if they're online or not. So in this, if we wanted to const is user online equals ID number return user IDs in chat dot includes ID. That works, but you have to scavenge the whole thing for that ID. And if you pick one at the end, it's not the fastest thing. And when you remove 17, like let's say we have const remove user from IDs equals ID number. You could do the filter where you filter all of them out if the ID is the same. But I just want to delete that one. So if you were to const index of match equals user IDs in chat.index of ID and then return user IDs in chat dot is that I forgot the delete syntax for deleting from an array. You could splice, you can do a bunch of other things. But I this is not neither of these solutions are great. These require going over the whole array, or at least until you find the item. Sets are super cool. Const online user yeah is user ids in chat set equals new set i even put user ids in chat there now this guy has uh, let's see if i do this if copilot smart cool this creates a set out of this which means every value in here has to be unique so if you use strings or ints and you give it a number twice, it will only be in there once. You can pass it an array that has something in there twice. No more code duplication. There are no more value duplication. The set's the set. If you want to check if a user's in there, const is user on line two equals ID number user IDs in chat set dot has ID. That's it. Typing is hard. And if you want to remove it, remove user from online set dot delete. Ta-da. That simple. I love sets. I should probably use them more. It makes it really easy to confirm something's there and add and remove things for a list of unique stuff. These data patterns are really cool. Super underutilized. I hope that a few people in chat are realizing that they should have used set and map for things that they used arrays and objects for. Please take advantage of these patterns. They are very good. Stop using objects as dictionaries. Objects are not dictionaries. Yeah, deleting in an object is super scary. Deleting in a map is not at all. Good stuff. Did you know that over half my viewers haven't subscribed yet? That's insane. Y'all just click these videos and listen to me shout and hope that the algorithm is going to show you the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, maybe even the bell next to it so that you know when I'm posting videos. Also, if you didn't know this, 
almost all of my content is live streamed on Twitch while I'm making it. Everything on the YouTube is cuts, clips, whatever from my Twitch show. So if you're not already watching, make sure you go to twitch.tv slash Theo, where I'm live every Wednesday around 2 or 3 p.m. And I go live on Fridays pretty often as well. Thank you again for watching this video. Really excited. Thank you.